Hey guys, it's Linux Next here. In today's video, I wanted to talk about Marathon, as it is a uh, rather popular game that is releasing in six months from now. And if you don't know what Marathon is, it is Bungie's next game that is trying to be an extraction shooter. Now, Marathon is actually a game that has been around as uh, Bungie's first ever game. I don't know the exact date, but probably around the 90s or 80s, probably the 90s, uh, that Marathon was actually became a thing. And Bungie decided to reinvent Marathon as an extraction shooter from the single player mode that they had where it was a single player with campaign and all that now it is an extraction shooter now if you also don't know marathon had a alpha that is going on and when this video gets posted it probably won't be anymore but they are doing an alpha currently uh, on the date that i am recording this and one of the things i wanted to go over is marathon going to be supported on linux now, if you don't know, the past history of Bungie supporting Linux has been rather low. When it comes to Destiny, which is a very popular looter shooter, it doesn't support Linux because, well, Bungie doesn't really want to enable Proton support with BattleEye. And that could be because of multiple reasons, either because their infrastructure isn't uh, built for Proton in mind, or it could be because they want that kernel level access to people's computers. Because if you don't know, BattleEye, when it's enabled through Proton, it's running in user space mode. So they don't have kernel level access if they decide to support Linux. And so technically people can cheat on something like Destiny 2. So what is the point of even making this video if Bungie has already said multiple times that Linux is not going to be supported on something like Destiny 2? Well, the whole reason is because Marathon is a different server infrastructure and a different anti-cheat that has been stated uh, at least once from a Bungie developer, which I'll go into very shortly. So one, the servers are dedicated servers for Marathon instead of a kind of like, uh, Destiny 2 has a hybrid like peer-to-peer -peer server infrastructure setup, which isn't a dedicated server. Well, what that means is basically when it comes to looking at the servers that are going, the games that are going on, uh, it probably is a lot more easier to do those things like probably banning people. Now I'm not gonna go too technical in it because well, I'm not a server admin. I don't necessarily understand about when it comes to a dedicated server, but dedicated servers are supposed to be better when it comes to combating against cheaters. And like I said, there was at least one video that I found from a popular um, content creator which is uh, Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Uh, he is a Call of Duty uh, content creator, but he has been doing a lot of Destiny and Marathon uh, content creation. And he got one of the Bungie developers on his stream and they you know, asked a bunch of questions about Marathon and one of them was about anti shoot So I'm going to play this video and we are just going to listen as to what the Bungie developer said. Um, is there anything that you're able to share? Yeah, totally. So uh, we have made some pretty substantial improvements to the Tiger engine with regards to our uh, anti-cheat behavior. We're server authoritative now, we're on a dedicated server, which means there is a external entity that is monitoring the game state, that is the truth of the game state. So what he just said there is like what I said, where when it comes to uh, banning players, it becomes a lot more easier is because they can actually have a security team behind it watching the games happen. Now, I don't know how good that is going to be necessarily, if they're going to actually have tons of people hired to be monitoring servers or game matches that are going on so that they can ban cheaters, but that is what he said. That's one good thing about Marathon so far. Which okay. means like game manipulations that would work in other games, you know, they would be verified and then rejected by the dedicated server. Um, we have Fog of War, which is a system that occludes information from other players or other clients on the map based on distance and visibility. So generally, if somebody's using a walls hack, they would be able to see everyone on the map. But with Fog of War, they actually, their box doesn't have the data of occluded clients. So they, you, you couldn't use walls on somebody. 
So as he says here, Fog of War is also being used, which is some type of like technique or piece of software that can help when it comes to when it comes to someone cheating with a wall hack. The wall hacks are a lot more worse when they are using it. POIs away, or they if they were obscured from your vision. Um, okay. So the benefit of walls is dramatically reduced. We have anti-cheat um, as well. We have an anti-cheat solution, and then we have a security team that is constantly looking. For but what is the actual the anti-cheat that is uh, running under be, Marathon? Deploy this live. Let's, Let's find out. Because he does say what anti-cheat okay. they are going to be so necessarily when it comes to is it kernel level or user space? Various game. Are you going to be doing kernel level stuff? Is there a plan for how you're going to kind of navigate that that fine line, that balance? Yeah, we're not doing kernel level uh, anti-cheat on this project. So now that a developer from Bungie has confirmed that there'll be no kernel level and there'll be a dedicated server with a security team, well, the thing is, Marathon Alpha has been going on, like I said at the start of the video, and the thing is, is that when the Marathon Alpha started, the anti-cheat that is being used is Battle Eye. Uh, so this... Bungie developer that said that it wasn't going to be kernel level uh, it brings in a couple of questions for myself and probably other people. Well, one for me is, uh, well, and many others, if it's Battle Eye, I'm guessing that there must be something to do where you can run Battle Eye in a user space mode on Windows because by default, uh, as I know so far, someone can comment down below if I'm wrong, uh, Battle Eye runs in a kernel level uh, space when it comes to on Windows. On Linux, when you enable Proton support for Battle Eye or EAC, it runs in a user space mode because of the wine restrictions. So that's the biggest question is, with uh, Marathon Alpha that happened and it's using BattleEye, what is BattleEye running in? Is it kernel level or user space? And when it comes to did Linux users test out the Marathon Alpha, well, yes, they indeed did. And well, when they tried to launch it, it came up with some Vulkan extension uh, errors and it just wouldn't launch. So we don't actually know if uh, Marathon even launches properly because, well, we can't get past the errors first, which need to be fixed probably in Wine, or maybe it's a translation issue with VKD3D, or it's possibly a Vulkan, like a Vulkan extension issue in Mesa, as this person is running a AMD GPU. So hopefully uh, with Valve looking at this, uh, they should be able to get the game functional and then we'll actually be able to see if the game actually works when it comes to can you actually join a match and not get kicked by the anti cheat because if so that confirms that well they are allowing Linux users. And just for anybody that doesn't know about like Linux gaming stuff and what other games are supported, when it comes to the extraction shooters, there is a popular game that is supported on Linux and that is Hunt Showdown. Now, I know there's a lot of people who like playing this game because, well, it's very popular and it kind of, uh, from other people who have said about the extraction shooter for Hunt Showdown, uh, they've nailed it when it comes to how the extraction shooter works and it is supported for Linux, it uses EAC anti-cheat and it works. They've enabled it and they continue to fix the issues that they've had. Like sometimes they uh, released an update and the anti-cheat broke because they um, disabled something maybe with the anti-cheat and they had to like re-enable it properly. That's happened a couple times. Or maybe there's the game just breaking, which then Valve will fix that issue. And one other game that I do remember playing around two years ago when I switched to Linux was the Cycle Frontier, which is no longer available. And that game used Battleye and it supported Proton. So when it comes to can Bungie, the marathon team, support Linux? Yes, they 100% can. If this confirms that they are using a user space anti cheat or with Battle Eye, or when the game officially releases, maybe they have a different anti cheat in place, like their own maybe, and that's running in user space, then we'll have to see if they enable support in some way with Proton because, well, Proton runs in user space. There shouldn't be much of a difference when it comes to playing Marathon on Linux because you have those dedicated servers and that security team and that fog of war in place and probably other security solutions running on the server to try and stop the uh, stop the cheaters on both Windows and Linux um, from cheating in the game. And if anyone else doesn't know, uh, yeah, BattleEye is supported on Proton. BattleEye posted all the way back in 2021 
four years ago, man, four years ago, Battle I posted about this. And same with EAC. They both made a post about supporting Linux when it comes to the Battle I entity. And as I said, Battle I has provided native Linux and Mac support for a long time. And we can announce that we also support the upcoming Steam Deck brackets proton this will all be done as an opt-in basis with game developers choosing whether they want to allow it or not so as you can see when it comes to uh, as it always has been eac and battle eye are extremely easy to enable when it comes to the proton support but it just depends on the game studio so do i think marathon is going to enable support for marathon probably not i would say uh and it's just because well it's bungie but i would love bungie to prove me wrong because uh you know if it's running in user space and it's not using kernel level then there's no reason to leave out linux players it and mac os players because i know there is uh mac os players you can use um i've got the tool or whatever it was called but there's a translation tool that you can use that utilizes wine i'm pretty sure and you can play games on a macbook just like mac os in general uh, which is awesome and i know uh the mac os players they play um marvel rivals so when it comes to uh you know marathon supporting like the compatibility of translation layers uh it 100 can be supported it's just up to the marathon team to support it and the reason like i said uh, as i doubt it because bungie blocks linux players on destiny 2 you can go to this link here which i'll leave in the link in the description and if we scroll down here to steam deck and destiny 2 you say destiny 2 is not supported for play on the steam deck or any system utilizing steam plays proton unless windows is installed and running players who attempt to launch destiny 2 on a steam deck through steam OS or proton will be unable to enter the game and you'll be returned to their game library after a short time players who are not accessing destiny 2 through windows and attempt to bypass the steam OS proton incompatibility will be met with a in-game ban so yeah, it is pretty disappointing that uh, well, Bungie already doesn't support uh, Linux in any fashion on like Destiny 2, and it seems like they haven't really uh, tried necessarily when it comes to the Proton side, because I do know that uh, Destiny 2 did have a Linux port, and that was on the Google streaming platform. I forgot what it was called, but there was a Google streaming platform. You stream your games through the cloud. Uh, that version of Destiny 2 that was running on that was a native version of Destiny 2 on Linux, which is crazy to think of that uh, you know, Bungie spent all that amount of time uh, making a native Linux port for that, uh, and they could have done it for the Linux players, but they didn't. So if you are sad about like Marathon, maybe not supporting linux uh with through proton or even natively which i would doubt that would happen but at least with proton it is a bit sad that maybe marathon isn't going to support it i would check out arc raiders which is another extraction shooter that surprisingly announced a tech test 2 or a kind of like an a alpha play test like what marathon is doing on april 30th to may 4th and it's another uh, extraction shooter originally it was a looter shooter but they they changed it to an extraction shooter for some reason it's actually arc raid is an upcoming multiplayer extraction adventure set in a lethal future earth ravaged by a mysterious mechanized threat known as arc uh, so what you can do is you can go on steam and you can request uh for the playtest i've requested it for like over like oh well, well two years now or something because they announced it a pretty long time ago and they have been working on this game a lot and if you don't know uh who runs arc raiders it is the embark studio which if you don't know is a game that they have also made called the finals which is the first game that they released as a multiplayer uh where what you have to do is take the cash to a cash out box and uh defend it to try and get as much cash as possible in this like in-game vr experience as they call it it's like you're in this like vr world where you're like constantly battling against other players and that game is supported on Linux through Proton. And it's all thanks to many people asking for it, including me, which I'll show a screenshot of some Discord DMs, or just one Discord DM, of a reply from Embark Rob, who's the co-founder of the Embark Studio. And I was messaging him about Linux support and how I really wanted it through Proton. And uh, they were going to have a talk about it. And then what happened? A couple months later, they enabled it without telling anyone. Uh, they enabled it on the server side and then we were allowed to play the final so if you like i said if you're sad about marathon i would highly request uh requesting for the alpha test that's coming up for arc raiders because i bet you um arc raiders will support linux users under proton 
if I had to guess, probably not in the alpha test that they're doing, but maybe at the actual main release of the game, they will support it because they're going to be using the same strategies as the farmers, which is a server side uh, implementation they have of their own, which has been really good in the finals, I would say, after around um, a year and a half of them developing it. It's gotten really good at detecting cheaters, I would say, plus EAC, which is what they use also in the finals and probably what they're going to use in Arc Raiders. So the conclusion with this video is that, well, I hope that Marathon, uh, the Marathon team from Bungie, I do really hope that they try to support Linux with Proton. And I don't mean like Apex level support where they freaking, they ban people and then unban them a week later and then say that Linux is the problem and then block us from playing it after two years of supporting it. I mean, like they're actually going to try and support it. They have um, good implementations when it comes to the server side type things and they have a good, like kind of good user space each year running so that, well, yeah, we can play the game and not be uh, blocked again by another uh, game that is releasing that Linux players could actually play. So I'll let you know your thoughts about uh, the whole Marathon uh, Linux situation. And of course, if you want Marathon to be supported, you can join their Discord, which I'll leave linked link down below. And you can go to a threads on Discord that is about Linux support or just in like the feedback text channel and just say that you want Linux support. Because like I said, this game does look actually kind of decent. There has been a lot of backlash when it comes to the game, when it comes to like the graphics and some of like the UI elements are a bit weird and it looks very like unfinished or whatever but we'll have to see six months later how marathon is going and even if it's still alive it could shut down who really knows so if you guys did enjoy this video definitely give it a like definitely subscribe to the channel and thank you to my supporters i'll show it across the screen with some text thank you for giving me money every single month i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace